Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another movie review, uh, and the movie in question is Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, the second movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Be sure to watch the movie yourself, check it out, see what you guys think, and then come back and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the movie. With that being said, be sure to leave a like if you like, and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. For a little bit of a brief telling of what the movie is before actually going into the synopsis of the film, uh, the movie was released in 2006, three years after the first Pirates of the Caribbean was released, and it is, my personal opinion, significantly better than the first one. I genuinely like this movie. It's also got a little bit more of a stacked cast. One of the best voice actors in pretty much history, Bill Nye, uh, he voices Davy Jones, uh, which we'll get into later. But with that being said, The movie begins really rainy and kind of sad day. Uh, you see, Will and Elizabeth were supposed to get married, but Will got arrested and Elizabeth also got arrested by Lord Cutler Beckett, who is probably one of the most annoying looking per people I've ever seen. I don't know why, he just looks really annoying. You know, there's people who just have that face that look really annoying. They've all been arrested for aiding the escape of a known pirate and criminal Captain Jack Sparrow and while they're all being arrested and stuff Jack is escaping prison again for the third time I'm not 100% positive but he manages to escape he gets a picture of a key that unlocks the uh, dead man's chest you could probably guess from the title what it unlocks but on uh, while he's on board and everybody's asleep he's going down to get some more rum when he's visited by will turner's father who had joined davy jones crew and will turner's father bootstrap bill uh warns jack that his time is up because 13 years prior to when this is taking place uh jack made a deal with davy jones to raise the black pearl from the sea bootstrap marks Captain Jack with a uh, black spot. It kind of looks like mold in a really gross way. It, lo it looks a lot like mold. But we're gonna fast forward a little bit and Cutler asks Will to hunt down Jack and get his compass in order to get a pardon for Jack himself and that is it. He does not say a pardon for anybody else. So Will being the uh, dashing young lad and kind of stupid individual that he is, goes on a quest to find Jack. He asks a bunch of people about where, where he could find Jack, and a spice trader tells Will about a, uh, a island where the Black Pearl is located. Will goes to this island and he discovers that the entire crew of the Black Pearl have been captured and are being held by a group of cannibals and Jack is being treated as their chief and or a god in a human body. And in order for them to release Jack, they have to eat him kind of a thing. So there's some shenanigans and a lot of rolling. There's a lot of rolling in this film. A lot of rolling things. But they all manage to escape. And they go to the uh, voodoo priestess Tia Dalma, who... I'm not going to spoil, but it has a very, very important role in the later movies, as we will eventually discover once we get to those later movies. And Tia, La Tia reveals that Jones's weakness is inside of the chest that they're searching for, the key to unlock said chest, and what's inside said chest is Davy Jones's heart. And they also discover that... Um, Jack, that black mark on Jack's hand, is a beacon for the Kraken. After they leave Tia's, you know, swamp, I guess is probably the best thing to call that area. I don't actually know where it's located. But after they leave it, Jack sends Will onto a quest in order to get the key, in order to get the, the, the compass, in order to free Elizabeth, who is still currently in prison, but not for long. And then eventually Jack, or eventually Will gets captured by the crew of the Flying Dutchman and is brought to the main man himself, 
Davy Jones, and Jack makes another deal with Davy Jones that in trade for his soul, he will get 100 other souls, including Will's soul in that count of 100. While this is all taking place, Elizabeth escapes prison with the help of her father, manages to evade and basically just pull some real shenanigans with a dress and manages to reunite herself with Jack's crew while they're recruiting people in order to be sold as sacrifice. And that's where they eventually get reunited with Norrington after he was kicked out of the Royal Navy for letting Jack escape after being stopped by a hurricane, which seems a little harsh, but you know, that's beside the point. He gets reunited, they all go to the island, Will manages to pull some real shenanigans and bet his way out of the service of, of Davy Jones, manages to steal the key from Davy Jones, which was inside his tentacle beard, and goes to said island as well. And then throughout this movie, there has been like literally four times Will has been hit in the head it's kind of funny how many times he's been hit in the head. He's got to have a concussion at this point. But when he gets there, they all group up and unlock the chest, open it up. There's a heart. And then they all like have a fight by all. I mean, Will, Norrington and Jack have a fight because they all have three different things that they want. Will wants to free his father from the servitude of Davy Jones. So he wants to kill Davy Jones. Norrington wants to take the heart back to the Royal Navy in order to get his status back. And Jack wants it as a form of uh, negotiation kind of a thing. But we have another one of those truly amazing choreographed fights where Jack, Will, and Norrington duel on like a multi-stage epic wheel whole shenanigan like it is insane the depth in which they in the amount of sword fighting that they do but jack eventually steals the heart puts it in his dar of jerk dar of jerk jar of dirt which norrington notices steals the heart from the from jack and then we get like this super interesting water fight thing between the black pearl and the flying dutchman and we soon discover that uh the black pearl is literally the fastest ship possible and this is when the kraken reappears he showed up a couple of times throughout this movie hunting specifically jack the kraken reappears most of the crew is killed part of the ship is destroyed elizabeth ties down jack with a pair of handcuffs so i guess it's not really tying tying him down but makes him stay on the ship and jack 1v1s the kraken while the crew escapes and it's probably one of the most epic scenes in all of the uh, all of the uh, cinematic history because just just the way he just stands there and goes for the kill with the kraken it's crazy also kind of brutal in a horrific monstrous way they all reunite with Tia, and Tia tells them that they are able to get Jack back, but they have to go over the ends of the world, and they need somebody to guide them on their journey. And that's when my main man, Captain Barbosa, comes back, and that is how the movie ends. <laughs> So, right off the bat, we are going to start with the special effects. I kept the synopsis super sweet and short so I could talk in length about the things that I thought they did really well. So, special effects were probably one of the biggest and best things about the entire movie. It, just the way that they made each an individual pirate a part of Davy Jones' crew unique and also sea life-esque and also at the same time still humanoid. It, they did a really good job. The makeup, the makeup team, the special effects team, the CGI team, they all did a fantastic job. Not to mention Hans Zimmer, the producer 
of all music that is done throughout the entire series uh, fucking blew me out of the water with the theme song for not only the Flying Dutchman, but also the theme song for Davy Jones himself and the Kraken. He did a fantastic job with the music and the way that it was produced and the feelings that you can get from the music as it's playing. Amazing. For being released in 2006 and being the sequel to a kind of mid-movie, I'm not saying the first Pirates was bad by any means. It just, in the, the grand scheme of things, was not good, um, or not great. They really stepped it up with this movie. Fan fantastic job i mean not to mention that they nearly doubled their budget from the second or from the first film with a budget of 225 million dollars they used every cent of it for getting good voice actors for good good music and great visual effects and they truly got the one billion dollars that they received from the box office i can't say enough about how good this movie is. I truly enjoy it. And I kept the synopsis brief and sweet and to the point so it would allow me to also point out the fact that with the visual effects and stuff they managed to make pretty much every member of the children's tales that I was told as a child look Lovecraftian in nature. It's crazy how good of a job they did with, you know, it, especially coming out in 2006. Now, this movie is available on Disney Plus and Amazon Prime, among probably other places, as well as DVD, and I cannot recommend enough that you guys should go watch it yourselves. And please do tell me in the comments down below what you thought of it, and uh, I forgot completely that my score has to be told. <laughs> uh, the score for the movie is a solid 8 out of 10. It went up 1.5 points from the last movie. It significantly stepped it up. And if I remember correctly, the next movie is also, if not equally, then slightly above this movie. So, stay tuned for that movie coming out next week. But, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to leave a like if you like, and subscribe for more videos like this. I am on the grind to 500 subscribers. I'm really hoping that I can hit the 1,000 subscribers by the year mark of my channel so I can start becoming monetized. I'm well on the way of getting 4,000 hours. You guys seem to really enjoy watching my videos. It's not necessarily a problem when it comes to the watching. It's just I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. With that being said, I think I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.